Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Coffee Thoughts and Things. And uh, last time we got together, I had a chance to share with you on uh, one of the most famous days in Christian church history. It was the day of Pentecost. And some really amazing, crazy, out of the world things happened that day. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord had sat down at the right hand of the Father. And uh, the Word of God says that He poured forth the Holy Spirit and on that day and the, all the people were praying and fire and wind and all a bunch of crazy stuff happened and uh, one of the things we emphasized last in the last coffee thoughts was there were three responses to what happened on the day of Pentecost when people were checking this stuff out and it says that they were bewildered amazed and astonished and uh, I really spent some time on the last time in the Coffee Thoughts just really encouraging you to ask yourself, when was the last time that you were bewildered, amazed, and astonished at church? When was the last time that uh, you went to work or went out with your family, uh, spending time with God, were you bewildered, amazed, and astonished? And I really wanted to hit home the point that uh, we serve the living God. You guys, this stuff is real. And uh, he has absolutely no problem at all showing off. And uh, the Word of God is very, very clear that his eyes are uh, going to and fro uh, across the earth. And he's looking for people all right, that are really seeking him, that have a spirit of faith, that are expecting his best. And I know there's some, there's some really cool things that I've been able to in, enjoy in life, to experience in life. And uh, uh, I've learned that if you maintain that spirit of expectation, that God is ready to do some awesome, awesome things. And I've seen awesome, awesome things. Someone comes up to me and says, Hey, John Sick, I don't believe in God. Uh, you know, I don't believe in any of those miracles and all that. You know, I've, I've personally seen them and experienced them. So when people say that, I, I don't know whether I'm going to feel sorry for them uh, or whether just laugh at how ridiculous that stuff is. And the reason why I'm saying that is, is you know that God wants to show himself alive to you. If you'll take the time and have an honest heart, one of the things I've shared with uh, people through the years is like, well, you know, I'm not sure about God and I'm not sure about, you know, the Lord doesn't mind, and I've shared this with him, you know, he doesn't mind your inquiry, but what he does expect is equal billing. It's amazing to me how people will will have libraries full of books by atheists and, and, and critics, and, and they'll just fill their minds with, and in school, in biology and evolution, they fill their minds with a stack of information up to here and, and spend years studying this stuff, and then they go, okay, God, show up right now or I'm not going to believe in you. It's ridiculous. And what I want to do is I had a, uh, a couple verses I was thinking about I was getting ready for the coffee thoughts and think, you know, there's some really important things in this book and uh, one of the things I like it, it to uh, hear in, in this church is this is, a, this is a scientific textbook of spiritual technology. This isn't a book of, uh, of fables and some cool guys that did some nice things. This, is, this book demonstrates and then instructs us on how God invades the earth. And I want to be invaded, and having been having experienced and been invaded in the powers of heaven, I'm telling you, you want this too. And I was reading some, a couple things that are really, really important. This is going to leave you with, and then the next coffee thoughts, I'll go a little bit further in it. The Apostle Paul was writing in the book of Ephesians chapter 3, he says, To me, who am less than the least of all the saints, this grace was given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches in Christ. Now watch this. He says in verse 9, And to make all see... What is the fellowship of this mystery, which from the beginning of ages has been hidden in God, who created all things through Jesus Christ? And what I want to leave you with today, and I'll pick up on the next Coffee Thoughts, is, you know, you'll hear things out there. People say, well, you know, um, you know, there's different interpretations, and you know, the Bible's so deep, and the meanings are so intense. The Apostle Paul blew that completely out of the water, and he said, look, my job, God gave me a job, and what the Lord did was he sat down and he says, hey, Paul, this is how it works. This is what I was thinking. All right, do this, you get that. And then Paul says this, that his job was to make all people see. That doesn't mean just preachers like myself. That means you are supposed to get this stuff just like 
everybody else. This whole thing, well, the whole the Bible is all mysterious and stuff. Well, the Apostle Paul said that God told him the mysteries, break them down and tell the people so they can all get it. God isn't hiding anything from any of us. And so I want to just really, I just, I just want to prompt you, I want to poke you, I want to get you to begin to expect to be bewildered, amazed, and astonished and know the Word of God was written for all of us to get it. And so start today. Say, Lord, I want to get it. You know, I want to start. I want to experience your goodness. I want to understand how things work. I want to get spiritual technology so I can see what it is that you have in store for me. So get on it. Start talking to them, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers.